What's up guys? My name's Mike. You're watching Sketch RC. And originally we were going to take the DBXLE to the beach today to do some sand dripping with the old desert buggy. But if you've seen the last video, uh, I broke it. But we're waiting on that part. It's coming in. Um, so I got something else in mind. Check this out. If you've seen my short, you've already seen it. Oh, I'm super happy with the way this turned out. So I went with, I'll throw the picture up here of the Google image of the, uh, the real TRD trophy truck I was trying to uh, imitate. The Toyota decal up front, got the Toyota racing on the side, and then I bought all these uh, uh, small decal stickers to put on there. Got the TRD on the back, did the tricolor. So I didn't, I had to tape this all off. It was a bit of a process, so there is some errors in here. Um, if you can see, like my tape didn't stick all the way down and my white bled through, um, like on the curves, especially like right here, did it really bad. But, oh well. So I did this all black, this red, stripe of orange, stripe of yellow, and then the front white. And then I tried to bleed like an orange to red on the top. Ah, that didn't turn out that well. It's kind of splotchy, but it looks good from a distance and that's all that matters, right? <laughs> and then I got these tires which seem like pretty good tires. I haven't ran them yet. Um, and we're not gonna run them today. I'm gonna throw uh, some paddle tires on here for today. Uh, they seem pretty good and they, they just have the look that I was going for. I wanted that red uh, fake beadlock. Really happy with the way it turned out though. I think it's sweet looking. I don't wanna just stare at it. Like I wanna see it in action with this body. So we are gonna run the body today, but we'll be in sand and sand's a lot more forgiving. So I don't think we're gonna trash this. I got these uh, Proline Dumont paddles, sand, snow tires. They're already pre-mounted on some wheels. We are going to throw these bad boys on there and then we'll take it to the beach and have a blast. We'll remove the body for this thing. Man, did I put those on there that tight? Jeez, I'm big. tires on there this thing is gonna rip the only thing that sucks is just cleaning them after running them in the sand just because as you know sand gets everywhere that's all right it's worth it you just got to come back and do a detailed cleaning so this is the same system that comes on the 8s ready to run Creighton so I got an 8S, uh, 160 amp Spectrum ESC with the uh, 1250 kV uh, can in there. So with it being a 1250 kV, I went ahead and upped my pinion to, what did I put in there? I think a 21 tooth. So I have a 21 tooth pinion with the stock 50 tooth uh, center diff spur gear. So should be should be pretty leveled out for, for good, uh, good ripping. All right, we made it. I apologize for the wind noise. It's pretty windy today here at the beach. Let's rip it! Oh yeah. Screams. Those panel tires just grip like crazy. Oh, it's a wheelie. Man, it's a monster. Should we ride the dune? She'll pop it up, no problem. Like, watch. Oh, roll over. There we go, to the top. 
Oh yeah. She's cooking. Cooking like a monster. Here's a much bigger dune. Let's see if we can climb this one. Bringing her in. No issue. Dang, this thing hauls. Look at it ripping out there. It's probably hard for you to see. Woo! Oh! Oh, yeah! God, I love the Mahale. This is where she lives. This is where she belongs. In the sand, ripping it up. Woo -hoo -hoo. If I give it full throttle, guys, it just wheelies over. So I'm barely, I'm like quarter and half in it. That's really what I'm doing. God dang. Watch, I'll come full speed rip. You ready? Oh, it caught air. Oh my gosh. You see it catch air and flip? Woo! <laughs> My goodness. This body looks so good too. Soaking up the bump. Just a ripper. Try not to roll it so far away. See, look, if I want a wheelie, wheelie. Wheelie, wheelie. <laughs> Should we go back up the dune? Up the dune? Yeah! We get stuck. Bring her back down. <laughs> Man, I'm amazed at how good this looks in the sand. Get another high speed flyby. Look at that thing creeping up on us. Uh oh. I got limited power. I wonder if she's overheating. Let's check it out. I wouldn't think it's overheating, but it's possible. The sand's pretty tough on these cars. Uh, I don't know if you guys see it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh man. If I've learned anything about RC, is if you want something to stay nice, you're gonna destroy it. And if you want to truly try to destroy something and bash it, it's gonna stay just fine. I'm telling you, that holds true, I swear. <laughs> so the issue, it was not overheating um, at the beach. The batteries just were drained already. They just went dead. They're older batteries. They're uh, probably around four years old, three to four years old. 
and they just drained down super quick and I was actually at low cutoff. Uh, it was not overheating. So I put two brand new 4S sets in there and was testing it out. And as you could see, it was ripping full speed just fine. And depth perception wasn't the best. And I clipped like a tree, probably about like yay round and just saw white plastic pieces go flying. Pretty, pretty bummed about that. Let's end on a high note. Let's throw the OG body back on there, which I swear that would have not done that. Supposedly the same body, both bought by Arma. One was clear, one was not, or one's the original. This just seemed way more fragile than that one. But anyways, I digress. <clears throat> so we'll throw the OG body back on there and we're gonna do a speed test in the dirt, backyard speed test, and then just a full on backyard bash because we got nothing to lose now, so let's go get it. Oh yeah. Woohoo! So it's easier to do it from this side. You guys just don't get the best camera angles. See what I mean? Like if it was my other body, it would have shattered. Except this body does just fine. Dang. Come on, there we go. Oh, something came unplugged. Just the battery came unplugged. Let's go do a speed test. All right, let's see what kind of speed we can get with this thing. She's moving. We get a couple, couple runs. Oh yeah. And she cooks. My dogs do not like the cars. All right. What do you think we got? I'm gonna guess 50. 51. 51 miles an hour. I'll try launching it towards me. This is how I just ruined my last car though. Oh my God. Dang, Mojave is just an un it's unstoppable. It's amazing how this really is one of the best bashers. Oh! Batteries came out on that one. Oh man, that was a digger. Thought I could pull it out. I bet you nothing's even broke. This is just Velcroed down. So don't even worry about that. Uh, let's see, this 
popped out. Okay, bent the uh, shock tower, it looks like. Definitely bent the shock tower. You gotta be kidding me, that's it. Bent that shock tower pretty bad. Still nothing broke though. Isn't that amazing? Let me scoop up my batteries. <laughs> Went flying. Oh yeah. Shocks and everything are still fine. It's just that tower bent. Also slightly, but uh, I think I can bend that back and we'll be just fine. Uh, I'll probably order some, order a spare. That's what happens guys. Um, it's just the name of it. If you play with these things all the time and you truly have fun with them, things are gonna break. But if you're like me and you love working on them and take them apart and fix them just as much as you do bashing them, uh, then it's best of both worlds. The only thing I am bummed about my body, totally sucks. That really does. I put a lot of time and effort into this, but we can hang it on the wall and it'll forever be a memory. Um, dang. It did look good in that sand though, just ripping. The Toyota TRD. Ah, but I'll forever, I'll have this video to watch of the glory days <laughs> of when this body survived. It didn't even survive one day, but oh well. Um, one day I'll recreate this and uh, won't have any of these errors. But thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. And as always, just remember to have fun, uh, even when stuff like this happens. Uh, you just got to take it and, and just move on and, <laughs> and accept it. That's part of the hobby, and it's fun no matter what. So, all right, see you on the next one. Bye.